Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. And welcome to the Estadio Ciudad de Valencia with its capacity of 26,000. It dates back to 1969. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Levante taking on Valencia. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And now the starting 11 for Levante. Well, the 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full-back and winger, and, of course, the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. And here's the initial 11 for Valencia. Jasper Sillerson is the goalkeeper. Carlos Soler starts alongside Daniel Vaz in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And now they get the ball rolling. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. And possibilities here. And a chance to whip it in here. Duro. Here is Vass. And showing fine vision. He got a good palm on it. Vukcevic. Fruitful looking attack. And he read it well, intercepting it. Elder Costa. And Soler. Might really be able to trouble them here. Oh, that is a goal from long range. He won't soon forget. Absolutely right out of the top drawer. Well, just look at this strike again. He hits it so well. That's a great bit of skill. No wonder he's pleased with himself. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Danny Gomez. 
Now a decent position. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Fair to say, not one for the archives. Yeah, the less said about that, the better. That's a poor effort. Daniel Vass. Maximiliano Gomez. Attacking possibilities here for Valencia. Elda Costa. And now Carlos Soler. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then. Rosano Gerdish. And now Carlos Soler. Superb block. Dani Gomez. Soldado. An important interception. Now, well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Elder Costa. Soler hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Gomez, and that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Playing it in, and he's clear as lines. Now can they counter clinically? Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Koke. Won it back. Hugo Duro. Lasso now. And it's with Elder Costa. Soler. It's with Fulquier. Maximiliano Gomez. There will be one minute added on at the end. Options in the centre. Cutting the ball back. Terrific block. Perfect challenge. Well, he really read that brilliantly. And there it is, the half-time whistle. He did have a lot to say for himself in the first half, Maximiliano Gomez. What did you make of his contribution? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. 
I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. And so underway again with Valencia looking to build on what was a largely positive first half performance. Soler. Went in strongly, decisively. Vukcevic. A super tackle and they've won possession. Daniel Vass. Can they create something from here? Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. The cross is on. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Time for the change now. And he whips it in. No nonsense clearance. Strength and control, a big part of his game. And he saw the situation developing. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. So, making the substitution now. Soler, and he's through here. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So, 2-0 now. Soldado. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Pepelu. And what a magical save it was! Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And played short. Now he must favour the cross. Well, that'll be a free kick. It's opening up for them, and no way through. Soldado cuts it back. Pepelu. 
Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Well, not so fast. Did well to make amends. Valencia moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Could be. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Soldado. Well, the chance looked to be on, but found himself offside. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, there it is. Valencia have completely controlled the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. And the problem not completely solved. And that's easy-peasy for the keeper. Oscar Duarte. Robert. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Time for a change then. Fulquier, Mukhtar Diakabi, pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Cherishev, it's with Carlos Soler, Denis Cherishev on the ball, and a useful cross, clattered away. Pepelu, on to Bardi. Pepelu, Ennis Bardi. <laughs> Giving the ball to the opposition that time. We've been waiting to find out, now we know, a minimum of three added minutes here. Chef. And it's played into the centre. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. No two ways about it, he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he should be pleased with himself today, because he performed really well, he scored a good goal, and they won the game. An excellent day all round.